great mass of those like us will suffer in pursuit of those things said to have value based on their scarcity. Oh. 
light into a world Sigh as she touches his arm, as she dusts off the bed, where till now he's been sleeping under miles of stone. The dried fig of his heart, under scarab and bone, starts back to its being. Stops to rest, but then 
less and less, and it's her who seems tired, staying up asking questions. He learns how to read from the papers that she is writing about him, and he makes corrections. It's his face on her book. Oh, they all come to look. Families from Iowa, Upper West Siders, and one day it's too much. He decides to get up, and his chaos ensues. He walks outside to find her. She's using a cane, and her face is too pale, but she's happy to see him. As they walk, he supports her. She asks, are you cursed? But his answer's obscured in a sandstorm of flashbulbs from rowdy reporters. Such reanimation, the two to the nation, he gets out of limos, he meets other women. He speaks of her fondly in their nights at the museum, but she's just one more rag now. He's dragging behind him. She stops going out. She just lays in her bed of the rooms of whatever towns they are speaking. And her face starts to rest, and her hands start to fold. And one day, the dried fig of her heart stops its beating. Think of them as an immense invitation. She asks, are you cursed? He says, I think that I'm cured. And I kissed her and hoped that she'd forget that question. <laughs> 